Three, number 21, Terrence Morgan and Lance Helbing. Tonight's tailback. On a wing right goes McGarry. Mays wants it all. Caught touchdown just inside. In motion, Tillman. Here's Mays. We'll keep it. And Mays out to the 39-yard line. Down at a half a yard. Mays. Here's the flip. Morgan gets it back and will lose yardage. Morgan twisted down by Scott Bell. Hours leading 7-0. Play action. And Mays is really bombed behind the line of scrimmage. And the Irving Tigers have the football. It looks like Brent Jones. It is number 62. Giving Irving a first down is another. At the 15, weaving his way, and a nice run by David Wright. It was plugged up on the right side, and David headed a little bit to his... And the Tigers apparently will settle for three. And they've got a good angle. They're almost directly in the center of the field, and just about from the three-yard line, which is nothing more than an extra point, a chip shot. A 21-yard field goal attempt. And he's straight on. It's on the tee. It's on the way, and it's on the board. Three for Martin at the Tiger. 44. Here's Mays. Hendricks and belted at the 42-yard line. It's going to be short. As Hendricks. Whitfield looking right. Throw caught 40. 45, number 86 on the receiving end, Brian Dooley. And Dooley gets it out over the 47. Second down nine. Option, Whitfield running room, 45. Whitfield lunging for the first down. Looks like he got it, too. And just outside the Martin 40. Here's Whitfield. Taken, faking, and shaking. 30, 25. Another first down as Whitfield goes down. Wide to the right. You've got Allen wide to the left. Tisdale in motion. Here's Whitfield to Tisdale. First down, 10-yard line. Tisdale to the eighth. Now, I don't know if that was a... Tisdale starts, gets the toss, and slips down at the 11 to secure the stop. Kevill, number 29. We'll have to hurry up to get back to the... You give Whitfield Ethan. a little bit of... Uh, of an opening there, and he really he's slippery. Third and goal. Tisdale breaks one tackle and lunges to about the three. Another look as Whitfield backs in. In the cockpit, Rogers, the only running back. Wright will put it up. Pressure throws it out. Caught 40. Over midfield, running this way, Charles Williams. Uh -oh. Williams, 45. Williams inside the 35 and is dragged down by Brad Kevill at the gun. Oh, the fullback is Mosier. He goes over left guard, is stripped of the football, and apparently the Tigers have it at the Martin nine yard line. Yeah, they do. Let's see if we can figure out who it is that has it. Number, number 77. And James Thomas might be covering up somebody else and the football as well. He is at uh, number 31. That's a linebacker, Brian Harble. Harble here setting up Irving in an excellent position at the 10-yard line. First and goal, Joe Whitfield. Option. Looks. Nobody open. Comes this side. Has running room. Throws on the run. Caught easy. Touchdown into the hand of Mike Enixon. Nobody back then. A touchdown for the Irving Tigers, and they lead it by three. Craig Allen will kick to Brian Mosier, number 34. Well, you've also got four Martin Warriors back deep. Stevenson drops it, is belted, it's loose, and the Tigers have it at the 19. It is. Brent Jones, number 62. You got a wing left. Now he starts in motion. Here's Whitfield. Rogers has it again inside the 10 and very close to the yardage needed for a first and goal. Charles Williams again, looping behind the running back. Here's Whitfield, five-yard line. He will score. 
Eight-yard run, Joe Whitfield, and the Irving spears out to the 20 and is slammed down at the 21-yard line. Downfield for Irving, Scott Fell, the 155-pound junior. Being tracked by Shotwell. Here's Mays trying to string it out, and a face mask. It's Eric Peters who wrapped up Jonathan Mays around the face mask in an automatic first down. 24-14, Irving leads it. Mark, uh, Mays is dragged down, gets the pitch to Hendricks. And a tough couple of yards as uh, four Irving Tigers converge on Terry Hendricks. And May First and ten Tigers. Whitfield looking right, throws, caught. Allen inside the 30. Third down in the yard. It's now first and ten. Rogers bangs over the right side and gets to the Martin 17. Second down and four. Whitfield trying to score again. Lays it over the double stripe. And they're going to get in 10. Option. Here's Morgan. Morgan being tracked by 31. And Brian Harville getting a piece of Morgan. Mays pressured. Never get it off. Come down by number 78, Jeff Prater. High formation. Again, lifting in motion to the near side. Mays. Option, oh, wide open. Here's Morgan, 40, inside the 35. Now cuts back across the grain, breaks one and goes. Has a man open and stepping in front of Pillman at the 15 is number seven, David Wright. He played it perfect, Brad. Whitfield over the 10, first down, 15, breaks into the secondary. 35, 40, Whitfield may go, look out. 35-yard line, Palmer comes up. Oh, my, what the... Has uh, looked over the opposition tonight, and he pretty well says the same thing that the head coach for the Yellow Jackets told us earlier in the week. And that is the Yellow Jackets have some talent, but basically this is going to be a pretty small squad small in numbers of youngsters who are playing. The Yellow Jackets of Arlington Heights have something of a disadvantage. Their school enrollment is just over 1,200. The Tigers have a school enrollment of about 1,800. In fact, uh, the Arlington Heights uh, student body, along with the uh, members who make up the education staff, had requested that the school remain in the 5A classification, even though it could have theoretically dropped to 4A. They wanted to stay in 5A, and sometimes you pay the price. Now, we're going to see in just a moment the uh, greetings between the uh, various co-captains of these two teams, and then we will have the flip of the coin. A beautiful night for football. You know, this uh, field has recently been sodded. Actually, it happened back in July, and then they put out another coating, and it has really taken over now. We were out on the football field, oh, just about 10 minutes ago, and it's almost as if you're walking on a cushion. It really is an excellent field on which to play. We have the uh, flip, and let's go down to the field right now. You can see the Yellow Jackets from Arlington Heights of Fort Worth won the, uh, lost their first game, and then last week they defeated the Elks of Burling. Start district play, so for both these two teams, this is an important game in the fact that uh, they'd like to get into the district competition with a record of two and one. The man to watch for the Tigers tonight figures to be their quarterback, Joe Whitfield, who last week against Arlington Martin ran for three touchdowns and passed for a fourth. He really had a very solid evening. Now to bring you all the play-by-play -play action, here's Lance Brown. All right, thank you, Bob Barry, and good evening, everybody. Craig Allen set to kick the ball off and get this football game underway here from Irving Public Stadium. Allen set, and there goes the football. It is going to be taken by Miller, Daryl Miller, at about the eight-yard line. Breaks a couple and gets out to the 20-yard line. He huddled in a pro set this time. Second down, 10 yards to go. Actually, nine now. They hand off the middle. Maybe a couple, but that's it. I really took a pound in earning it. 
Let's take a look now at the defensive line starting off for Irving tonight. They will play the 50 defense, five down linemen with a nose guard there. And they will have two linebackers and four defensive backs. Joe Whitfield now into the ball game at safety. He will see a lot of action as well as he'll go two ways. Miller a little jumping in the backfield. This is this is a free play for Irving. And Hansen, we were talking about uh, kickers and Lockman, their punter. Uh, Merlin Pretty had an outstanding place kicker. Tony Franklin going on the bigger things uh, in pro ranks. Yeah, he might have So, so he had the 57 yard field goal was a junior in high school. It's a heck of a leg for any kid, much less a junior in high school. Really. Single back set, they send a man in motion right up the middle. Big hole, 40, 35, down to the 28 yard line goes Stacy Rogers. Rogers, the single setback. Now they send Williams in motion. And Whitfield's going to keep. Big hole. Look at him run. 20, 15, 10. Down inside the 10 yard line. They're going to spot him on about the 7. What great effort there by Joe Whitfield. You get an idea of why he was rated as one of the top quarterbacks. Number 84. Wishbone set. Third down goal. Handoff. Whitfield's going to keep. No. Touchdown. Joe Whitfield. Puts the Irving Tigers in front by a score of 6 to nothing. That's a 48-yard drive. Of course, the uh, they got the ball in good field position. Put a kicker out there, as you can see. They're going to fake. Here's the two-point try. Whitfield, nobody open. Reverses the field. Wide open, two points. Now, that sensational athletic ability, Bob. Now, Bob, I don't know whether you can do it. So, Arlington will go on offense again for the second time tonight. Realize one of the and they hand off up the middle. Ooh, and a good hit that time. And they hand off up the middle. Ooh, and a good hit that time. And they hand off up the middle. Ooh, and a good hit that time. They knocked out of them. If we can walk four. Flanker back. Wilson, the quarterback, calling signals against a 50 defense. They hand up the middle and nothing. There's Alvarez again, and this kid is having himself a good football game. Arlington Heights will be moving now from your left to your right. Eight to nothing, Irving leading. And here's the pitch back going to Fred Lee. And Lee gets back to the line of scrimmage. The Arlington punter getting the ball high up in the air, and that's uh, the turn. And again, they win the battle with the punch as far as field position is concerned. There's a young man who's having his problems tonight. In motion, they send up the middle. Good running ability that time. After Tisdale. Second down, short drop. And there's your first completed pass of the night. At least as far as uh, next couple ball games, maybe, in district. There you have the inside handoff. Ooh, some good hard running. Popped loose, and it's a uh, Irving ball. And wide this side. Williams in motion. They fake. Now they counter back the other way. Whitfield keeps across the 40, 35, 30. Breaks loose and he's going all the way. Joe Whitfield, a great individual effort that time. Great individual effort that time. Great individual effort that time. And boy. And it is good. So our score is 15 to nothing in favor of the Irving Tigers. Yeah, let him hurt other guys. Mercer number 32. They line up in the eye. Lee gets the ball. Left tackle, nothing. Too big to continue to pound away there. They, they can't play the power game out of the eye, that's for sure. That's Miller the ball carrier. And he gets about three. Tripped up by James The quarterback, Brad Wilson. Split backfield. They hand off another fumble, and Irving has the football. Once again, a quarterback. Tisdale, a single setback as they fake. White throws open Tisdale, 40. 
and Tisdale fights his way down to about the 35-yard line, 36-yard line, then knock him out of bounds. Up the middle, good running room, Tisdale. Tisdale breaks a couple of tackles, still going, and gets down to the 20-yard line. Michael Mazio makes us two minutes left in the first half. Right to quarterback. Sprinting out, looking. Over the middle, flag is down. Completed pass to the five-yard line, but let's check the flag. Bell on the receiving end of that pass. But it was thrown in the backfield. And the Irving Tigers of 8B leading by more than 15 to nothing in this ballgame. They fake, and now they throw. It's complete to Allen. Allen to the 22-yard line. And he'll be very, very close to another first down. No, he won't. I'm sorry. They had a lot. The ball is down. The kick is end over end. And it is perfect. 18 to nothing our score with a minute six. Remaining in the first half. Cold. Power eye formation this time. And a mix up in the backfield. That did not work at all. Tigers, as you can see, have a tremendous edge here. They lead 18 to nothing. And generally speaking, these figures show you why. Twice as many first downs. And ordering them. We had uh, Whitfield from one yard out. He scored the first touchdown. And then basically, uh, we had Whitfield on the 41-yard run. Nackett has a good leg. Let's see what he does here. Nice long kick. It's going to be taken near the goal line, dropped by right. And he's just going to fall on it here. 27-yard line. Single setback once again is Stacy Rogers and they fake and they give Williams the wing back going the other side trying to get outside breaks a couple more tackles and he does have the first down as he's out to the 32 yard line William touchdowns thus far tonight and some great runs he's going to run again breaks one two tackles keeps going crosses the 40 has the first breaks it again look at that young man go Joe Whitfield great individual effort he's down to the 35 yard line that's a 30-yard scamper, but he probably ran 60 yards. Whitfield back into the ballgame at quarterback. They send Williams in motion. They pitch back Williams. Williams gets outside, 15, 10, 5 touchdowns. Joe Whitfield getting some great blocks. On the ground. He won five-yard penalty to Austin. Of course, it was a recline. And boy, I'll tell you, the yellow jackets really don't know where to hit them there. Power eye formation this time. Brad Wilson, the quarterback, hands off, and Miller juggled the ball a moment, but he is wrapped up in hip for a yard. He didn't give his team much of a chance. Laughlin to punt again tonight. High snap over his head. He's in trouble. He's down at the two-yard line. He ought to just run it out of the end zone, and he's going to be tackled at the one-yard line. The worst thing to happen. Yeah, he, 25 to nothing. Our score is going to change real quickly here. Tisdale, touchdown. And it's 32 to nothing. The kick by You know, you're wondering, well, maybe, you know, does Coach Bennett play some of the reserves? Thing is, Jim really doesn't have that big a roster. True. So it's not like he's going to be running up the score. You're going to see, you know, some of the second and third teamers, and I'm sure, but you also have to go with some of the players. But apparently they're just going to keep him out of this. Why get him beat up in a, in a ball game that's over? Brad Wilson sprinting out now. Throw, throws, he's hit as he throws, throws, he's hit as he throws the ball, and let's see. Two to nothing. Irving leading this ball game. They hand the ball off to Miller, and he is just crunched. Joe Alvarez, uh, they send Scott Hilaro wide to the right. Right, looking, throws over the middle. It's complete the bell at the 30. Jukes one man out of his shoes, goes to the 25-yard line, and that where he's brought down. Yeah, it's strictly pride at this point. Fourth down and a couple for the first down. They give up the middle, touchdown. Stacy Rogers. Let's not be so quick to count out Halton. They're the defending champions of their district and a great running back in Kevin Fry. 
nice high kick. It's going to be taken and fumbled by Miller at the 10. Picks it back up, fumbles it again, and oh no. It's almost it's at the top of your screen. Wilson hands the ball off to Miller, and Alvarez rips him up and tears him down. Take down, two points. Boy, there's a kid who's had a tough night, too. Pitch back, this is Miller. And again, Alvarez. Mike Enix in there. Split backfield. They give up the middle and a fumble. Oh, no. Oh, no. Irving has a side. Short side of the field. Wrap the straight drop. Throws. Intercepted. Well, that's the first interception of the day. Todd Cullison making me shot well. Say, hey, coach, give me a try out there. Let me hand the ball off once or twice. And we have whistles and shot well the quarterback. And that's right, the ball carry getting out to about the four to nothing. Just a second. Uh, first downs, Irving, uh, not with as big as advantage as you might thought, but Arlington had a couple of first downs. Well, Stadium, the high school football season takes a turn as district competition begins at 858. <laughs> As Trinity had seven turnovers, four interceptions, and three fumbles. Trinity 19 and two since 1980 as they enter tonight's game. What a stat! Much of the credit, of course, goes to the coaching staff, and it should be a good matchup. While Trinity has earned respect from area teams, Irving is trying to get to that point under the guidance of head coach Jim Bennett. As we are about to have the coin toss, whereas they can all play. And when you look at this district now, the UIL really has created a tough one when they combine the top teams from the old 75A with the three Irving schools. Six of the eight schools in the district finished at 500 or better last season, and many feel that all of those teams have a shot at the playoffs this year, and these two teams definitely do. Yeah, David, I was talking with John Riddell, the head coach of Trinity, right before the ball game. He's saying, yeah, they definitely did us no favor. He says, I certainly would like to have a couple ball games against Burleson back every year. Um, Tigers on offense who will start tonight. Their deep men, Charles Williams in the middle of the field, flanked by Scott Bell, who wear number 40, and number 7, David Wright. Here we go. It is way back, and that's going to be a touchback. And so we will start off offensively. For quarterback Joe Whitfield, as we mentioned, had a great game. 111 yards rushing last week, and of course, one of those yards to go. Lance, we're going to see a lot of that this evening where they just pitch it right to Yoakum. Kind of looks like the Southern Cal, the USC, great sweep where they just pitch it and let them pick the hole. And we're going to see a lot of that this evening from Yoakum. Student body left and student body right. The old O.J. Simpson's plays there. Next play is the fake. Pierce is going to keep. Pierce picks up about three or four more. Allen again wide your side. Whitfield. That's Tisdale, the ball player. Has some running room. Gets around the corner and turns it up, and he's going to be close to another first down. It'll be about a yard shy of the first. That's the top of your screen. Whitfield, the draw, Tisdale, 50, 45, first down. Kevin Tisdale with an option. He's really mixing up the play as well. Whitfield up the middle, big hole. Rogers, another first down, or he's going to be close to it. Field a hole. I doubt you'll see a fake in this situation. Too far to go for the first. Or for the touchdown. There's the kick. It's long. It's end over end. And it is good. 35-yard field goal. Puts the Irving and Tigers in front by a score of 3 to nothing. With 2 minutes and 20 seconds left on the clock. Rolling out, looking to throw. He's going to run out of time. The only 
They ran three plays the first time. Pierce is rolling out, looking to throw. He's going to run out of time. Now Trinity going into the wind. That's Yoakum. And Yoakum gets nada. They take the ball away. That's Yoakum. And Yoakum gets nada. They take the ball away. That's Yoakum. And Yoakum gets nada. They take the ball away. And look at this. Look at this. That's Dennis Howard. And he's going to go all the way for the touchdown. Dennis Howard takes the ball away from Yoakum and goes all the way for the touchdown. 70 yards. My goodness. <laughs> and about 11 yards to go. They pitch back Yoakum coming this way. Yoakum is wrapped up, hung down, rung down. About a yard loss again that time. Pierce. Looking around, he throws it in the air, up for grabs, and it's incomplete. A very poor pass. First down play. That's Pierce. That's Pierce. That's Pierce. Pierce across the 30. But again, it saved possibly 10, 15 yards on the road. You can't do that. Now you can adjust it, but you can't pick it up off the ground. Second down, six yards to go. That's Tisdale. Look at that offensive line surgeon. Tisdale breaking tackles for another first down in Trinity territory at the 40-yard line. At the hardly any time left, though they'll probably run it out themselves. Oh, here's the fake. There's Whitfield, 40. First, he's going to be very close. He's got the first down. That's a total fake here. Yeah. First and 10 from the 30-yard line. Whitfield. Draw play, Tisdale, and boy, they are milking that play. Look at them run for about a seven-yard pickup. They're 10 to nothing. We will have more halftime activity. 40 yards, total offense, 85 for Trinity. And if you look at the yards rushing, uh, Tisdale, again, when you have the draw play and give it to him, he can pick the hole so easily, it looks like. I think you hit it, though, right on the head by saying that the offensive line is just giving him some gaping holes also. It's just not one hole on the draw play he can go for. He's got some options, it looks like. There is such a surge on the offensive line. They are blowing holes. They're getting that line surge going out. You got Donnie Pogue, Brad Duff, uh, Chad Jones, James Thomas, and Jeff Drennan is opening up some huge holes up there. So they're, they're getting that line surge, getting that two yards penetration in there. And Irving is going to take the football to start the second half, and he will. If you look at the players on offense, Lance, really, Irving does have the skill people compared to Trent. High end over end kick. It's going to be taken by Williams at the 10, and we have by Duke Pena. Bowas to the short side of the field, nearest you. They hand the ball to the wing back, and he gets out of Alvarez. Big Joe Alvarez in there to make the stop. Well, what it be? Scott Pierce, calling signals. Fumbles the football. Flags down all over the place. Irving has the football. Let's check what the flags are all about. I'm just guessing, Lance, but offsides are much wide right in the third down play. Whitfield, the draw once again to Rogers. 50, 45, 40, first down. My goodness, that has worked so many times singly. At the top of your screen, the wide receiver. They pitch back Tisdale, running off left tackle, and Tisdale comes his way for another five, six yards. Josh, he gets an emotion that way. Scott Pierce hands the ball off. The top of your screen. Enochson, wide to the right. Fumble. Let's see who's got it. They're fighting for it. I think Whitfield may have gotten it back. Yeah, Whitfield did get it back. Yeah, I think he had to wrestle for it again. Oh, yeah. I mean, it gets mean down there. Second down and 11. Tisdale, right tackle. Look at him, Ryan. 41-yard line. They have lived off it all night long. This time, Whitfield's going to throw. He does. It is complete. First down. Inside the 20-yard line on the receiving end of that pass was Brian Dooley. Second down at the end of the short side. Tisdale. Tisdale going touchdown. Kevin Tisdale 
Goes 11 yards for the touchdown. Top of your screen. Shane Pierce. Now the counter quarterback play. He looks to throw. He's going to be hung down, rung down for a big loss on the play by Brent Jones, the senior defensive end, 170 pounder. One of that only loss, of course, to Plano. Shane Pierce. Did the draw play, and that goes nowhere. And remember, they only trailed Plano, what was it, 16 to 10 at halftime. Three minutes, 31 seconds of tails right now. Well, he doesn't want penalty. If he wants that clock moving. Absolutely. I have to figure it would be impossible for them not to win this football game now. Pierce, short drop. Now he's rolling out, looking in the end zone. He throws, and it's incomplete. The third victory of the season. Whitfield's going to keep up the middle, breaking two, three, four tackles across the 40. And he almost broke that Ooh. loose. He pounds over the tackle. <laughs> Tigers. We'll be back with more in just a moment. Our football game, not just the first half, and it'll show you that, well, Irving dominated this football game, actually more than the statistics may uh, have mentioned, because they just ate the clock up all night. Activity, Lance Crack. All right, thank you, Bob. Here's Allen's kickoff, and it's going to be taken by Clint Curry at about the 13 yard line. Gets across the 20, and he Henderson with the fake. He comes down the line, and he oh, the fake. He comes down the line, and he he comes down the line, and he oh, and he turns it up and hit hard. Brian Harville, the linebacker, coming up to make the stop and move over the starters. Now they have to be up for this one as well. Henderson. With the fake, comes down the line on the option, pitches back, good pitch, but hung down and brung down from behind Jeff Pratter with a tackle. This is awfully difficult, Bobby. Yeah, a team that can run inside with the tackles is your best bet. And that's going to be, I would think, kind of hard to do simply because Irving has got a pretty good defensive line, big. Joe Alvarez, of course, their biggest player. They list him at 257, but I truly believe he's bigger than that. And it depends whether he's been at the pizza buffet <laughs> that day or not. It is second down now, and 18 yards to go. Another flag thrown, two flags thrown, and Irving, but nevertheless. And there's Joe Whitfield's parents. Obviously proud of their young man. He is a receive for the Grapevine Mustang. That's right. 
Low snap, but he gets it away and a nice kick. Good, good spiral. Is taken by Stratman at the 20. Trying to get outside, breaks one tackle, but can't get away from the second man, who is Brad Dubb. Inside handoff, nothing. Loss of two yards that time. Again, Fred are in on the spot, 12 yards to go. Chambers in motion. Over the middle. It is tipped up, incomplete. On the draw play all night long. Second down, Whitfield. On the option. Second down, Whitfield. On the Second down, Whitfield. On the option. Pulls his way for about two yards, but that's it. Braun in on the stop. Chambers in the slot to the left side. Henderson is eaten alive as he pitches the ball back. A fumble. And... Stratman and higher back. Low snap again this time, but Wright does get it away, and he kicks it away from the net, and it takes an Irving bounce, and look at this ball go. It is going to be down inside the five-yard line. Henderson. They give up the middle, and not much. A fumble, and Irving has the football. There's the break they were looking for. Platter comes up with it. Bell to the wide side of the field. Whitfield rolling out, looking to throw for the first time tonight. Dumps it off to Tisdale. Catches it at the 45 and gets down to about the 38-yard line. And that's Tisdale in motion. The handoff, another fake. That's Whitfield, the ball carrier, breaking tackles. He is going to be close to a first down. Look at that kid run. Joe Whitfield with tremendous effort as he fights his way close to a first down at the 34-yard line. All depends on where they spot him. Second and goal. They pitch back. Short side. Tisdale fighting his way. He's close. Touchdown. Kevin Tisdale with a five-yard touchdown run with the first score of the night for the Irving Tigers. On the right side. Henderson, the fake. He's looking to throw. Flags thrown. It is intercepted. Going for the touchdown is number 12, Junior Barrier. The left to Kevin Tisdale. And two offensive linemen across the line of scrimmage. If he had thrown, it would have been a penalty. Sneed rolling out. He's looking to throw. He does, and it is picked off. And it is picked off. Does, and it is picked off. Great defensive play made that time by David. Thunderbird, you don't see those as many. 56 Actually, Thunderbird. 56, is that yeah, what it was? because it had a little continental. Thing. Whitfield calling signals. Williams goes in motion. A fake and big hole. Look at Whitfield go. He turns it up, gets across the 45, out to about the 48-yard line. Whitfield, the quarterback, he's going to throw again. As the time, throws it over the middle, complete. First down, 35-yard line, 34-yard line. On the receipt, Farmer in as your quarterback. He's rolling out to the right. Gets away from one man. Dooner Barrier misses him. And finally, the rest of the troops come up to greet him. That's Dennis back at the 22-yard line. Right so this field. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Third down, 12. There's a fumble. And let's see who's got it. Farmer recovered. Farmer did get it. That It's Grapevine trailing six to nothing. Henderson, the quarterback, looking around. He's going to run the option. He's going to get hung down and brung down. Woo! Harville coming up to make the stop back at the 20-yard line, and he is hurt. 
He is rolling around. And he might have pulled a hamstring because he is holding the back of his leg. Third down play, about nine yards to go. Farmer looking, and he's going to get oh, crushed. Irving's defense all over him. James Thomas coming in to make the stop. Leading in the football game, Tigers leading by a score of six to nothing. Williams goes in motion. Whitfield throws back. Weak side. It goes for the first down. And breaking all kinds of tackles, Enochson. Look at him fight down to the 40-yard line. Mighty bad snaps. Second down, five. Whitfield, little pass and piss. Enochson catches the ball first down, 28-yard line. That's exactly the same type of play where they hit Enochson for 21. If another team will be called 16 to nothing. Exactly. There's Whitfield, the ball carrier once again. He's looking to get outside. He does 10, 5, Whitfield, touchdown. He'll touchdown, touchdown. Joe Whitfield, you see the great individual effort that time. 16-yard touchdown run. And that was just about icing. Tough field, too. Looks like he should have maybe tried to turn it in. There's Joe Whitfield. He's going to cover deep breaths. He's going to have some liquid refreshment. Yeah, yeah. All well, the wet ball drills you want, but it's sloppy and everything, and they dry it off. It still can do no good. Here he's rolling out, and he's going to be crunched again. Prater again in doing what he has done all night long, punting. This time from his own goal line. It's blocked. It is blocked. Alvarez with the block. And it is going to be recovered inside the 10-yard line at about the six. Whitfield, the man who recovered the foot, 31-yard try. Whitfield to hold. Ball down, kick up, and over in, and it is good. 31-yard field goal try is good. 15 to nothing, our score. And if there was ever any doubt before, that should have done it right there. Not able to do much either side. Second down, 10. Draw play. That's Chambers, the ball carrier. Chambers gets to the 30-yard line, and that is all. Erland in motion. Looking, looking, looking. He throws long side. He throws long side. Intercepting. He throws long side. Intercepted at the 30-yard line, and that's going to do it. Right. Big test will be coming up in the next few weeks. 15 to nothing. The Irving Tigers victors over the Great Pine Mustangs. We'll be back with the comments of Jim Bennett and the highlights and the statistics in just a moment. by the statistics. 11 first downs to only three. Grapevine completely shut down in the second half, as Jim was telling you. Uh, field position.
get good field position out of this. Good high kick. That's Bubba Davis, and he has got it at his own 42-yard quarterback. Barks the signals. He's on the roll. He looks to his left, throws quickly, and it's caught and complete and out of bounds at the 29. Side. He's got a block. Oh, what a great play at the 29-yard line. 44. Well, that's Scott. Scott with a nice tackle on that play as well. They're going to need him. If they get 20 more yards as Mike Cox rolls out in pursuit there, Mike throws a long pass downfield. Oh, what a catch by it! Oh, it's intercepted. And that's what you didn't want to happen. No score. Well, this will look good on the stat sheet for Bubba Davis. He makes a nice play. Doesn't do much for the score, but it is a nice play. And, uh, oh, two minutes and 38 seconds. First down, Rebel. Here's the pitch to Rich, and he is hammered in the backfield for a four-yard loss. Here's, here's Rogers on the pitch. Uh-oh. Ooh, goodness gracious. Was he ever hammered by Keith Rich? Rogers, that's not yeah. what he remembers the most. He'll probably say, I remember Keith Rich. Here's Tisdale this time, and he's got a big hole, and he's got a first down out across the 45. Ooh, Gordon Wright over the 40 to the 41, and he is just... By Alvarez. Office finally cashed in. With the quick step. He completes it and it's out to the 26 yard line. The 258 first down rebels at the 35. Fumble. Cox picks it up. He's loose and tackled for a loss. Look at all the time he's got. Rebels are just trying to contain him. They don't want him to scramble, but he throws the ball 50 yards downfield. Farmer's there. And it's a catch. And it's a catch. And it's oh, a catch. my goodness gracious. What a nice High snap. Whitfield just stands there. What a cool cookie. Who completed the 17-yard line? Stamp. Whitfield throwing. He's scrambling. He throws. He's hit as he throws. He's got a man open. Incomplete. Rebels win. 7-0. Football keeps the field goal. Time runs out. The Rebels win. This week. Uh, 
from him and be, you know, let him be an example and let us go out there and do everything to our, our fullest and just never give up. Even if we lose, we can still hang our heads high so that we never gave up. Okay, Joe. Yeah, I don't know how much you've done. Every time we do this, somebody hits me on the battle. I'm the man they love to hate, the
Game of the week. The Tigers of Irving up against the Cardinals of MacArthur. Okay, gentlemen, your captains in tonight's ball game. That puts all of you in a leadership role. Whenever we have a foul, let's be sure we have a captain from both teams come up. Listen to what the foul is. Hear what the penalty is before you make your decision, okay? You're the visiting team. You'll call the toss in the air. Heads and tails. Heads and tails, 33, if you step up here, 51, you call it in the air, you repeat what he says. If I drop it, we'll do it again, okay? In the air. Pardon me? If he said head, head, it is tail. You have won the toss. They want to defer. They've won the toss. They will defer. There you see it. The Cardinals winning the toss, but they deferred. They did not want to make any kind of selection, so the tie off. All right, thank you very much, Bob Barry. Billy Jones, the deep man for the Irving Tigers. He's back to receive. There's Dwayne Bassett getting set. And there goes the football. Not a very long kick. End over end. Jones, no, that's right. He's going to take it at the 15. Breaks his wake. Finds some holes, and oh, my goodness. Ross Ronan grabs him by the jersey, or it's off to the races time. First and 10 from the 37-yard line. They hand off inside Tisdale. Big hole. Stumbles over the 50. Keeps going across the 40. Out to about the 38-yard line. Huge hole that time. Offensive possession of the night. Shoemake on the draw to help. Help. He's going to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Maybe a yard, but that'll do it. Big. You no, know, he fumbled. Irving has got the football after the fumble. First turnover of the night. And there you see Irving is good at this position. And here we go with the end-around play. Gets a good block. 
And that's Bell, the ball carrier, gets inside the 20 to about the 18-yard line, just got a 50% of his passes this year. Here's the fake. He's got the hold. So much for his not being able to run, huh? Whitfield with the first, again, from the wishbone. Fourth down play. Whitfield pitches back. Bell trying to get outside, gets down, close touchdown. Scott Bell with a two-yard touchdown run. Well, officially, yeah, two-yard touchdown run. And the early flight to the bottom of your screen. Shoemate rolling out, looking to throw. Got a man wide open. Now he's got to eat it and get hung down for the loss. There's a defensive screen. That's the short side of the field, you can see. And there's Shoemaker faking, looking, getting the big rush, and adios. Sport of action here. The Tigers leading by a score of seven running over the Cardinals. We'll be back right after this. Shoemaker with the fake, looking to throw, gets some good blocks. Now he's going to run. Gets away from one man, but not the second man. It is Jeremy Shotwell coming up to make the stop. Shoemaker. Helton getting the ball. Helton running into Joe Alvarez. Joe Th James Thomas also there to make sure he doesn't get any food braces. Yeah. Shoemaker rolling out, getting the rush, but he fires, and it is incomplete. Whitfield gives. Rogers the ball carry. First down. Whitfield fakes. Looking long. Now he's going to take off and run. Got some open field. 40. Run. Got some open field. 40. Run. Got some open field. 40. 45. And Whitfield after the 48-yard line. But Jones and Rogers are running backs. That's Jones. Look at him go. Jones gets to the 30. Oh, penalty puts the ball back on the 40-yard line. Go Whitfield. What is he spelling out there? I don't know, but if you're interested in advertising. Single coverage. Looking for Polite. It is intercept. Oh, almost a spectacular interception by Ashton Scott. Rivals, inner city matchup. Two basically defensive football teams. Cool. We don't need to run. One of these days, we're going to see something that probably has never happened before, but the team doesn't destroy the sign at all. They say, it looks so pretty, let's keep it. And they just walk around it. They either that or they, they can't open it up. That's when you have a real poor team that can't even break the barrier. Oh. Uh-oh, here we go. Well, yeah, right. and there goes again. And you think of all the hours that goes in the motion second like that. Boy, there it is gone. But it's all part of the pageantry. Second down. Kelton again. Down. Kelton again. And down. Kelton again. Oh, fumble. And Irving has the football. And he was whacked. I mean, he was hit. Split backfield. Whitfield. Couple of fakes. Looking once again at screen pass. It's there. Tisdale, nice catch. Got the blockers out in front, but can't get around him. And they finally does 20-10. And he is down inside the 10. Right at the 10 is where they're going to call him down. Brian Harville. Seventeen yard line, so it'll be a 27 yard try. The ball is down. The kick is up. It is end over end, and it is good. 27 yard field goal by Brian Harville. And you know that young man's got to feel awfully good right there. Hey, you bet one of the men making a good block. First and 10, the ball, 41-yard line. We have a new running back into the ball game for MacArthur. That's John Robinson. Coming to your screen. First down, or second down, excuse me, 15. Shoemaker looks, fires. It is tipped and incomplete. Intended over the middle of that time. They hand off, big hole up the middle. Rodgers, first down, near the 40-yard line. And if the doesn't hold on, that, that's done for a touchdown. That's the second move going to be made here. It's Chris Ferguson 
Whitfield on the option. Keeps, breaks a couple, breaks another one, wide open. There's nobody going to catch him. Maybe. Davis. Davis does finally trip him up. I underestimated Don Davis' speed. With great speed, but nevertheless, Whitfield down to about the two-yard line. Come out of the huddle in the wishbone. Whitfield. Hands off. Tisdale. Touchdown. For Kevin Tisdale, that's his fourth touchdown of the season. And Irving goes in front by a score of 16 to nothing. Tonight, really, that either one of these teams have had what you'd have to call a sustained drive. And Ferguson, the quarterback. First time we've seen him tonight. They hand the ball off. And Robinson, the ball carrier. Well, loses about a yard. So lineman, so this is like half of the second team out there right now. Ferguson looking to throw, going to have to haul it in. And he's going to lose about two yards. Williams, that's Whitfield. And he keeps first down. Look at him turn it on. 50-yard line in to Cardinal territory at the 48-yard line. That's a 19-yard scamper by Joe Whitfield and still another throw. They run the option play. Whitfield takes, keeps, 40, 35, another first down. As Joe Whitfield pounds his way down to a box of 32. Jones, the ball carrier, gets some blocking. And he has the first down inside the 20, down to about the 18-yard line. Ronan has to go all the way over to make the stop. Whitfield throws, complete, fell, 10, fell, 5, fell down to the three-yard line. Chris making the stop, Bassick also coming in to help out. But another two. Some jumping on the line, up the middle, Jones. Does he? And we'll be back right after this. <laughs> As far as, you know, keeping them off the scoreboard for the touchdown. Arvo to try it. 37-yard field goal try, end over end, and it is good. A 37-yard field goal by Brian Harville, who has come in tonight and done a wonderful job in a difficult situation. Shoemake back in at quarterback. Wow. This is no time for inexperience. Shoemake throwing long over the middle, polite long over the middle, polite going long over the middle, polite. Great catch, but a great hit to knock it away. This is fine defense. Jeremy Shotwell with a feather on the play. Just one heck of a defensive play. Evers will tell you that's a tough play to make when you're up in the air like that. Uh -oh. As you said, Bob, you're vulnerable there. Brian Harville, who's had himself a fine, fine football game tonight. Play defense. You may call signals. Student body right. Here it comes. Nope. Pull back up the middle. He is. He's very close. It all depends on where they spot it. The Tigers think they've stopped it, but we're going to have to wait and see. Big Joe. Where's the Baylor? I think now. Whitfield on the fake up the middle. It's inside the five-yard line. They're going to mark him right down. Wishbone set. Pitch back. Bell, the ball carrier, gets to the five-yard line. From the bone. Pitch back, that's Jones, five, fumble, and Cardinals get it in the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Boy, and he fumbled just outside. Ferguson, the quarterback, rolling that way. He looks, and he doesn't, doesn't get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a couple. It's payback time. We've waited so long to beat the Cardinals this week. Right now. Being chased. And being chased. And being chased. And that's it. That's Joe Alvo. The pitch. That's Harville. Look out. Harville with some running room. Look out. Harville with some running room. Look out. Harville with some running room. Pounds over a couple people. Touchdown. Brian Harville, the star of 28 yards out to put this football game officially. 
away. The touchdown pass in the final seconds against L.D. Bell. That was absolutely right. Ball down, kicked up. It's good. 27 and nothing our score. The Irving Tigers pouring it on here in the fourth quarter. So this will be the last time this year we see the MacArthur Cardinals. And you see Joe Whitfield has had himself a fine ball game tonight. He's got a reason to smile. Yes, he sure does, does. does he? Yeah. Just Ferguson, the quarterback. You know, you look at these plays that they've had with Ferguson. Trips to the left side. And they're going that way. That time throws long and great catch. throws long and great throws long and great catch and drop. Almost caught, but again, Jeremy Shotwell. Good defense over the middle that time, Bob. You know, Bob, I got a feeling that this young man can enjoy watching the run with his ball. Oh, a lot of these youngsters are gonna watch this you know, and say, hey, play it again. By the way, there was a flag. Game. That's it. Again, three receivers to the left. They're going that way. And, and, and time runs out. Rose complete. Bozeman, the receiver, gets to the 44-yard line. And the receiver gets to the 44-yard line. And Bozeman, the receiver, gets to the 44-yard line. And oh, what a hit that time. That was David Wright from the other day, Bozeman. And Sullivan, the fullback, still there. Ferguson throwing the bomb for polite and it is incomplete for polite and it is incomplete for polite and it is incomplete and shot well another shot out there now the coaches are going to say that this was pass interference it's a judgment call the officials 30 flags go up James Thomas over there having a disagreement with one of the Cardinal players. in as Irving has defeated MacArthur and let's 296 yards to only 96 and this our mini Madison Square Garden. We call this the dome.
seven, James Thompson, James Thomas, and number 12, orange and black and white. And there comes Irving through their banner. And look the how, Tiger. Look how still that Tiger is in that cage. You, you know, I was just noticing that. I don't know. I think uh, he looks a little lethargic to me. We certainly want to appreciate the sponsorship of all of our sponsors. It's not the Hall of Bank who's sponsoring, and there's the kickoff. I'm sure when a bank sponsors a game, there's a lot of interest. And David Wright's got the ball. He's got one man to beat, and he doesn't beat him. Down to the 45-yard line of possible. Very good return for Irving there, George. It's the first one I can remember in the last... Uh, Minute and a half or so, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, there's the pitch. Kevin Goes to Fry. Good blocking out in front. Kevin doesn't have a whole lot of room to run. He gets down to about the Tiger, so the point is. Quibber, I'd like to know, is that Latin, Greek, Roman? To the game. Well, Buffalo's have started good. Hand off the pitch. Off the middle. He's got a great lot of speed. Kelly Spock has got the angle. He might catch him. Quibbill cuts it back upfield, and he's going to score. Touchdown, 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 Irving Tigers. Joe Whitfield, like I said, can run the football. He cut that ball on the field. Once he got in the open field, he knew exactly what to do with it. And that drive was only... Had a nice ring to it, repertoire. Kevin Fry, he fumbles the ball, and it's recovered by Irving at the 18-yard line. Well, you can't afford to do that, George. That's just one thing. Whitfield barking signals. And there's the snap. Whitfield's going to the outside, fakes it, and he's up the middle for a touchdown. Joe Whitfield. Joe Whitfield. Joe Whitfield on the option keeper for the touchdown. We're going to get to see uh, Mr. Whitfield do the marking signals out. Signals out. Marking the signals out. That was uh, number 75, Joe Alvarez, a 257-pound senior, who I think he got all 200 pounds. Of course, Kevin Fry, 215. Jordan takes the snap, hands it off to Kevin Fry. He's got a hole up the middle. Runs hole up the middle. A hole up the middle. Runs up to about the 45-yard line. Kevin that time was uh, tripped up by number 12. Good yardage still. This must be a play that they put in especially for the Irving Tigers. Well, he snapped the ball. Now, I'm not sure. There's no offsides in that play because the, the center was the only man that moved, and he had snapped the ball. So, <laughs> Jordan on third down and 10 is going to hand the ball up to Kevin Fry on the delay draw. And Kevin here. And Joe Whitfield on the, on the option keeper, and he's out in the open field. And Joe will go for a touchdown. No one will catch him. 45 yard touchdown for Joe Whitfield. One for one. One, one more time for Joe Whitfield. Now that's three touchdowns. PAT. Yeah. Tell you what, I love a safety position. Mike has good speed. Whitfield's in trouble in the backfield. He's going to run. Slips. And winds up gaining about three yards on a play that should have been a loss. May set up. I think he wants to run. He's in the open field, so watch out. Okay, brought down finally. Watch out. Okay, brought down finally. Watch out. Okay, brought down finally. Billy by. Is that Billy Simmons that brought him down? It was Billy Simmons. That's uh, David Hilario. And the ball carrier keeps moving forward. Ryan Harville on the carry there had in the whole game this year, George. That's correct. Maybe a 28 to 14 score. They hand it off to Kelly Spivey on that reverse again. He's, he's got, got to the outside. Him. He's got a little bit of room. If he gets another block, he'll get... He's taken out of bounds by David Wright. Oh, and he hits the bench. Uh, he's got on a Kelly helmet. jumps up. Yeah, he just... He's up because of his quick stats. And we're getting set to kick off here. David probably wants me to be quiet. He, no, he says, don't stop. He says, don't stop. Okay. And Shane Osbrook with an onside kick. <laughs> and the up man takes the ball. He's going to run with it. Keith Caldwell took the ball with one second on the clock. You're not going to really hurt yourself if you run it. Keith Caldwell probably got more action with that. He's probably touched the ball right there more than he's going to touch it all year. Was that uh, number 60? Uh, Keith Caldwell. You see, he takes it. 
Well, he's, he's, he's been watching Kevin Fry run. He says, well, shoot, if Kevin can do it, he's no, as big as I am. That Keith Caldwell is on the Hawks of Buffalo. Oh, that's that right. Was, that was uh, Brad Depp on kickoffs. 48 and a half yard average on kickoffs for Irving. Of course, they got many chances to kick off. Return yards, uh, two punts. They returned uh, 22 yards uh, kickoff return for Hawkins. Uh, a 10 yard return by Irving and a 35 yard kickoff return uh, by Irving. In penalties, Hawkins has been penalized only one time this evening. And Tim, that's unusual. Hawkins has been getting a lot of penalty yards. Uh, so far, it's been only one five yard penalty. Both teams fumbled once and lost the ball once. Rushing touchdowns, one for Hawkins and four for Irving. A big difference, and here goes the kick. Goes by, will take the ball at the 10 yard line. Run it out, got a hole up the middle. Brought down at about the 28-yard line. Pretty good run back, uh, Tim. Run the offense here. They get the ball first. Ronnie hands it back off to Kelly Spivey up the middle. And Spivey brought down at about the 30-yard line for game two. George, you got a couple of professional He is tackled by number 85. Did an outstanding defensive job. Right, they took up a yard on that last play. He gets the handoff here again. He gets stopped in the backfield by Brent Jones. Uh, Brent's do a good job of making the tackle, and Brent did do an excellent job of tackling, taking that away from Brent. Ronnie right, Jordan is back. The bottom of your screen, number 15 and 40. It looks like a little shovel pal pass over the middle. Tisdale, Tisdale is going to be just short of the first down at the 30 yard line. It'll bring up fourth down at about one or two. Stop the team that's scored like that, it will. Joe Whitfield up to the line of scrimmage. He's going to call the signal. Pitch the ball out to Tisdale. It's going to be a reverse. Pitch back, back, reverse. To, back to Whitfield. He's going to throw the ball way downfield. And somebody's wide open. He's got the catch. Mike. That was a play. That was a play, Tim. The old double reverse. Dip Mike Mike. Okay, we've got 15 at number 40. Whitfield with the play fake. He's got lots he of room. Run. He wants to run. He's going to run. And he's in the end zone for the touchdown. Joe Whitfield with his fourth touchdown of the night against the Hawthorne Buffaloes, which will makes it 34 to 10. Now, last week I was here 45 minutes after the game and the guy was closing the gates right down to the people that work in administration doing they had to close the gates late at night. Your screen ready to see if Lonnie can once again complete another pass and Lonnie drops so out. Rolls out. He may run it. No, he passes it. Ooh. Throws it over the head of Kelly Spivey. Covered by number 30 for Irving. That's Rick Davis, a five foot seven hundred. Going out to dinner afterwards. Lonnie Jordan on second down and 22 is going to roll out, throw Excellent the ball deep. Blocking. That's a throw long ball pass. Kelly Spivey, and it's going to be intercepted by David Wright. Kelly Spivey could not kick standing in the end zone. Ooh, and that, that kick was almost blocked, Tim. And it's a nice high kick as Kelly Spivey comes down with it, and he is met immediately by Scott Bell. I, two things good about that kick for Irving. Irving almost has that kick blocked. Lonnie Jordan calling the signals. Third down and 20. Lonnie rolls out. Throws the ball across the middle and it's intercepted. That interception was caused by number 77. Calling the signals. He's back okay. in pass formation. Oh, he's he's going to hand the ball off to Joseph Williams. Joseph's got room. Joseph's got the first down. He's to the 40-yard line. He's to the 30-yard line. He's to the 40, the 10, the 5. He's right out of bounds. Touchdown to Joseph Williams. I thought he was going to score another
putting Nimitz up against the Tigers of Irving High School. And an important game, certainly, for the Nimitz Vikings. They win tonight, and they are... Here are the district standings. You have uh, L.D. Bell, 5-1-0. Notice the big clinch playoff spot with the Irving record. You see, they started off a little slow, but they're playing an excellent team in Plano. And then really started picking up. Knocked off Arlington Martin, beat Fort Worth Arlington Heights. Knocked off Trinity Tigers. We have Billy Jones in the center of the field, flanked by David Wright. And also Scott Bell. So here we go. There's Danford's kick. It's going to be taken by Wright at the 15. To the 25, and Wright gets his way out to about the 33, 34 yard line. And let's see what Irving does on offense to start off tonight. First and 10, let's check the offense and the defense for you as we go down the field here. The quarterback is Joe Whitfield. There's your running backs, Kevin Tisdale, Stacy Rogers. Rogers has been gimping around, but he's back this week. Scott Bell, Mike Enixon, the uh, right wing back and receiver. There's your offensive lineman, the guy who did the dirty job. And let's go. First and 10. We'll check the defenders in just a moment. First and 10 from the 33-yard line. Whitfield fakes. Now he keeps up to about the 38-yard line. This is concerned. Basically, this is going to be a contest between Miles and Joe Alvarez, big burly defensive lineman for the Irving Tigers. There's Bell in the slot to the left side. Whitfield from the shotgun. Has all kinds of time. No rush at all. He throws. It's complete. Enixon has a first down out to the near the 40-yard line. Whenever you give a receiver that much time, sooner or later, he is going to do Nimitz. That's Joe Whitfield, and he keeps, breaks two, three, four tackles, and gets off to the 30-yard line. It'll be close to another first down. Whitfield, back to pass. Going to have to scramble. Now he fires, and it is complete, and a good catch made by Bell. Really? I'll check that singly on the receiving end of that pass. And singly gets the down to about the 23-yard line. Rodgers and Tisdale, the running backs. Tisdale, the quarter, or Whitfield, the quarterback. Strong to the left. Whitfield keeps first down, then some. Whitfield, touchdown. Joe Whitfield, a 20-yard touchdown run. So many times you see it on a, on a close play like that. Somebody just breaks one like that, and Joe Whitfield is just the kind of guy who can do it. We'll show you this replay, and as you wave, big smile on the face of Jim Bennett. This is the, uh, the single wing formation is impressive. In the Johnson. Got a scramble, and thrown for a loss. Stop is made by Brent Jones. <laughs> seconds left in the half. That's Walker again. Gets some good blocking. But it's Irving is quickly covering that hole up. And Walker only picks up about two more. Now on offense. Johnson. That's Walker. And Walker wrapped up and after he picks up a yard and that's it. The stop is made defensively by Jeremy Shotwell. Senior safety comes up to make the stop. 16 yard line. Johnson hands off Walker. And Walker does not even get back to the line of scrimmage. Wrapped up by Jeremy Shockley. Stanford to kick the ball off. 7-7 seven, seven ball. We'll just have to wait and see. Second down. Whitfield throws. It is complete. First down. Good catch made by Brian Dooley. Senior tight end. Whitfield on the draw to Tisdale. And Tisdale fighting his way over tacklers, and he gets about seven or eight yards about to the 40-yard line. Wing right. They go to the short side. 
Walker dances around. Now he's going to try to reverse his field, but he's going to run out of time. Good pursuit that time by the Irving Tigers defensively. Definitely. Excellent containment by the Tigers. Johnson. Short drop, looks, throws, fires, and a great catch by Chase Stanford for the first down. Now, what are they going to rule? Incomplete, they're going to rule it now. Big hit put on by the Tiger defender. Who's Back after loose. this. Performance in the first half there by the Nimitz Viking marching band. And there you see the first half stats thus far. And we have a 7-7 ball game. And you can see it right on the screen why we have a 7-7 ball game. Virtually every, even if they lose this ball game, Bell still has to be Trinity for them not to be the district champions. And don't forget that they... Second half, Brian Harville kicking the ball off. It's a low squibber over the middle. Byron Miles going to let it go, and Roderick Walker picks it up at the 10-yard line. Rod Walker to the 15, 20, 25. Walker breaking away. Look at him go. He's gone. Nobody's going to catch him. Nobody's going to catch Roderick Walker when he gets out in the open field like that. This ball is going to go 90 yards for the score. Roderick Walker. Roderick Walker's 25th touchdown of the season. And the Nimitz Vikings go in front by a score. Whitfield looking. Throws Enix and down and out. Same play. This time he catches it, but only picks up about four yards. After the 31 yard line. Johnson comes down the line on the option. Fakes the pitch, but he's going to be fumble the football, and it's going to be Irving who recovers at the 40, 39 yard line. Johnson was looking around for a pitch man. Miles was out there, but he decided to keep it. And coming up with the football, Whitfield. Receivers on either side. Fakes the down and out. Now he's looking for the long pass. He's going to have to scramble. He's going to be better run with the football. He's looking for some blockers. Waits. Great play by Whitfield. To the 20. Whitfield to the 10. Down to the five-yard line. I think that's the best run I've seen this year by anyone. And I'll tell you why. Whitfield was buying some time back there. Situation about six, seven yards to go, and they stopped him. That they have played very well defensively, referring here to the Vikings, and they show it again. They are really up defensively. Got his Vikings into the playoffs and maybe a district championship. Roderick Walker breaks one, two tackles, but gets a fumble. Fumble on the play, and it is recovered by the Irving Tigers. Roderick Walker fumbles, and Irving is recovered inside the 10. We're going to spot it at the Bobby 7. I think that did not get in the end zone. Whitfield rolling out, throws end zone, wide open touchdown. A touchdown pass, it goes seven yards. And the touchdown Tigers. The first play goes for a touchdown. Seven yards. To go. Escapes one man and gets in for the touchdown. Good individual effort that time by Stefan. And they'll try the two points this time. Absolutely. They come down the line on the option. They pitch back. Bad pitch out, but it's picked up by Miles and, of course, doesn't make it. This is a 55-yard drive. See that district flag being hung up. And then it's Jim. End over and kick. Wright's going to take the ball at his own six. To the 20, 25, 30, 35. And David Wright gets out to about the 39-yard line. And if it wasn't for Chase Down, down play. Whitfield looking has a time now throws it's complete the singly first down at near midfield then will stand back at his own 10 yard line no rush so he gets plenty of time to kick it away oh and look at this look at this <laughs> at the two and a half yard line well, remember what happened the last time the Vikings had a situation like that? The tide of fortune has changed for the Vikings here in the second half. And this is just the second half. The turn has now carried for 90 yards. Byron Miles has carried for 89. Thunder and lightning. Boy, well, they have done it again tonight. All tough yardage because Irving was hitting out there. Miles, the ball carrier. Miles picks up. About two or three yards. He's going to be about a yard shy of the first down. We'll bring up fourth down. And now decision time. Do you try a field goal from this distance? I don't think so. I think they're going to go for the first down and just try to eat the clock up. 
four minutes, 24 seconds remaining in the football game. The ball is inside the 30-yard line. It's, they're not going to bring the chains out of the one because it's not even close to a first down. It's going to be a fourth down. And look at this. T formation. Straight T formation. Handoff. Miles. Very close. The defensive front for Irving really blocking that play up. All depends on the spot. I'll tell you one thing. Whether he makes it or not, he did a great play just holding on to the football. Yeah. Now we will have the measurement, and I don't think he made it. Nope. How about that for a fine defensive stand by the Tigers? Absolutely. A play they, they had to have. They got 4-14 to do it. Whitfield comes down the line on the option, turns it up at the 30, gets out to about the 34-yard line. He'll pick up five. It'll bring Jones wide to the left side. They come down the line, pitch back Tisdale, Tisdale. First down, 40, and Tisdale out to the 44-yard line. You know, they've showed that play all night. It's the first time they've actually used Receivers on either side, first and 10, 44-yard line. Whitfield's going to keep as he goes around the right side, 50-yard line, and gets out to about the 48. Moved a little bit, there's flag. Singly coming into the ballgame with a play. Third down, nine. Singley splits wide to the right side. In the slot to the right side is Bell. They're going to run from the shotgun. Jones wide to the left side. Third down nine. Whitfield gets the good snap. Plenty of time. Throws. It's complete. First down. Billy Jones. Billy Jones on the receiving end. A bullet that time by Joe Whitfield. 60 seconds remaining in the football game. Irving with the football as a trail. Looking long. Flags are down. The bomb for Jones, and it is incomplete. Flag down at the line of scrimmage. Whitfield has the time. Throwing long. Got a receiver there. Touchdown. Enixon on a receiver there. Touchdown. Got a receiver there. Touchdown. Enixon, a great catch in the end zone. A great throw, great catch. This ball goes 37 yards for the touchdown. I'll tell you, this is a typical Nimitz Irving football game. It really is. Mike Enixon with the fly pattern down the right sideline. Whitfield has put it up, led him perfectly, and a touchdown pass goes 37 yards. Joe Whitfield with a second. Touchdown cross of the night. Five yard line, which subsequently set up his score. 32 seconds remaining in the football game. There's Enixon. Don't think he feels good. Oh, 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 oh wow. He's a senior. Yeah. This is something he's always going to remember. Imagine catching the touchdown play in your final 30 football. yards back on his own 35 yard line. They give on, they fake the draw. They're going to set up the screen pass. And Stephon Johnson almost breaks away, but he's going to be thrown for about a 20-yard loss. And that's Jeff Prater, who has played so well all year, making a big hit. That's going to be a Whitfield standing about 40 yards deep. Stephon Johnson with the fake, which is faking no one at this point. The long bomb, he's looking for Danford. It's incomplete, intended for Ashton Scott. Four seconds left, we'll have time for one. Two receivers to the left side. Johnson. Johnson loads up, throws the bomb, and it is going to be incomplete. Doesn't matter. That's the football game. 21 to 19, a sensational football game here tonight. A wonderful way to close out the 1988 football season. I know for the Irving Tigers and Evans Vikings, obviously disappointed, but they should hold their heads up. They played a good football game, and Golly gee, I tell you what, you know, you kick a couple of extra points, you got a tie football game. Or maybe definitely you never know what's going to happen, I guess, because they could have kicked the two-point, could have run for the two-point conversion. You never know. A great football game nonetheless here. As Jim Bennett and the staff have done a wonderful job. Mike Barter and company, of course, have been the greatest game I've ever seen.